Welcome Starseed to the Indigo Tribe. Today we're going to talk about the top 10 traits that makes Enlightened Shadows, the first book of the Midnight Train fantasy series, a true pioneer, a real unicorn in the fantasy realm these days. Number one, the story behind the story. Back in 1991, Richard wrote his fantasy on a school notebook while he was in astral projection state. The happiness, although was short-lived, as the domestic fire consumed the only handwritten copy of this outstanding fantasy. Decades later, he entered again into a trance and reconstructed while experiencing Mike's journey on a higher realms. Number two, split ending for this first book. Yes, not many pulled it off like Richard did in this enterprise. You can choose between two endings that will tell if you like doom and gloom or happy ending. Like men definitely love happy ending in Philippines, Latin America, and in Thailand. You dig? Shout to Zoom to Thailand. Number three, non mastering writing script. Fuck the rules. Creativity here goes wild like a fart after Christmas dinner. Just like a movie or a poem or a story tale like with the boys on a camping fire or a party in Cancun, Mexico. Four, multidimensional writing for the first time ever. As the Indigo Code targets the left brain hemisphere of the star seed, this trilogy targets the right hemisphere of a creative oriented person. This series is paved with sacred geometry, ascension journey of a star seed through all the three books and a sensual erotic thriller without any apologies as a real man. Red pill man, Indigo man. Five. Series of forecast script for the whole three books to be shot soon. Yes, as Richard experienced it in real life experience and on the fifth dimension, a full set production is underway. It will be shot in two locations, in Europe and in Latin America. Number six, author design secret revealed for the very first time. You can do, uh, put that in midnighttrain.co. A rare glimpse into Starseed creative reactor of all the three books cover design that will give you the aha, this guy is really top G right there, dog. Be inspired. Number seven, active reading technique. They say this kind of writing and in a way it makes the reader active in a fantasy writing is impossible. Richard has a wonderful creative writing so that you, the reader, will feel the main role of the hero's journey. You will feel like an author speaks to you as their friend on a boy trip to Cancun, Mexico. Entiendes, cabrón? Number eight. Reader, chosen fantasy can be on the next book. Yes, its original concept from 1991 as the author can pick one of their readers' fantasy and character and, it in, and the winner will have its own fantasy and character in one of the remaining books of the series. Nine. Red pill-oriented writing. No woke feminism, just social justice warrior crap. This series isn't playing by anyone else's rules. Remember the 90s TV series Retro Diary by Zalman King? Well, you're going to love this one. This is one on Booster. Mainstream media authors and under books uh, write fantasy books nowadays under a uh, same script and under the deep state trends. It's like they're hypnotized. It's not real fantasy anymore. So this one, it's very different. We get old school, new school. No woke, feminism, social justice warrior, political correctness, feminized, gender crap here are not guessed into our realms. Old school, new school. Welcome to the new earth. Number 10. Created by Starseed and for Starseeds. It's simple as that. This book isn't for anyone, especially not for the sleepwalkers. If you are a sleepwalker, please don't own this book and it's not for you. Thank you.